all tonight. After Good day, the everyone, and welcome to Radio's Emerge, Retro Future first rival. gaming preview on the brink called Aegis of Earth. This is a anime themed video over rich game tonight, that is somehow managed to carve an existence basically taking place in a post-apocalyptic world Only where humanity depends on a resource called Elk Knights. However, this Elk Knight attracts several monsters and those, of course, when need to be defeated. To be snatched away from our feeble right here we have the intro of the game, but... Let's not dwell on that bullocks, because what you hear for is some gameplay, and at least a first impression. And here we have it, Eagles of Earth, Pro... What is that word? Protonovus Assault, whatever that means, I didn't hear anything about no Protonovus. However, first thing you'll notice is the anime aesthetic. We have a lot of rust and gold colored machinery. Very elaborate. I love the, uh, the displays um, in the machines. Also a lot of cables. A really kind of mixture of well, what I would suppose is diesel punk and steampunk. Um, also love the various headgear the operators here are wearing. Um, I already have started a game um, because, well, there is a lot of story elements to go through, if you can call it that, um, but you'll see what I mean later on. So let's just start up this game, see what happens. Um, also, hey, ah, there we have it. I love the uh, LGBT colors uh, on his shoulder right there. That's not uh, obvious at all. Uh, once again, love the headgear the guy has. Um, he is one of your operators. He is the guy responsible for the influx of new settlers in your city. And as you can see, he has uh, everything is done through these text captions now, and get back to work, as you would already the notice these people the don't shut up uh, this is also your uh, commander of general affairs and her main character trait she is looking to get laid I mean looking to get married um, and I'm sure she has plenty of things to tell you here are some objectives um, I have to destroy five Entryons, whatever those are, uh, raise the happiness of the city, I will show you that, and reach the armor level of 2 in the city of Kimberley. Sure. Um, yeah, however for me to reach that armor level I have to upgrade my city more, or my commander more I should actually say, and as you can see I have a commander level 3. Um, and experience in games is of course by completing missions and mainly killing monsters. So yeah, pretty simple. The condition of our um, operators is as shown. Please take a look at the data carefully. Yes, these are uh, the levels of my operators. Each of these operators is responsible for a different task of the city. Like the level lock level three is responsible for the weapons. Um, let's see who else, I don't actually know what all the operators do, to be quite honest. Um, I mainly focus, uh, they, they all provide their own bonuses, um, so yeah, check them out for yourselves if you're interested in such things, but personally I can't be bothered because it's all rather meaningless. And now this is the world map, um, as you see I only have one city right now in Kimberley, um, <clears throat> each of these cities have their own missions, they have their own happiness, um, they have a population, I don't know how this will affect gameplay in the long run, but um, yeah, so let's see what happens. Happens. Now let's knuckle down and get back to business. Yes. Oh dear, those. You know, it's it's not a. This is the city, 
mode. Okay, Commander, um, let's suck into those animals and again basically today. you have a crane. Great. City's really buzzing However, before we get to up. building, we need to, you know, go through all this dialogue. Um, yeah, this, this dialogue is really one of the main problems I have with this game. Uh, they're basically non-stop tutorials, and they start over and over again every time you load the city. Uh, or load the game, I mean, and this goes on and on and on and on. There's no way of getting from one school to another. However, the game. Uh, here we have a crane. Um, now, this game is a port for the PS3. So... <coughs> excuse me. This crane is controlled by either the W, A, S, and D keys or the uh, arrow keys. Um, and not by the mouse. Which is actually quite unfortunate because this game would be improved immensely if it just had normal mouse support. Um, I'll show you later. This uh, crane isn't when combat it happens, by the way. However, a little walkthrough. These are barriers. These are against uh, monsters who fire lasers at your city. Um, the blue buildings are actually missile launchers, which is in a true anime fashion post-apocalyptic world in these really picturesque buildings. Uh, the red ones are cannons and the green ones are I think Gatling Towers. However, I only purchased them, I haven't played them yet, so I'm kind of curious to what they do. Uh, here we have residential buildings um, which can be upgraded uh, uh, or I should say fortified as they call it. They'll gain more hit points and they'll be able to hold more population. However, as you can see, they have plenty of room left, so let's not do that. Here we have a generator. Every building needs power. Even these barricades right here, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why that one is glowing. I have no idea why that building is glowing. <coughs> Uh, what else do we have? Yes, here we have... There you go. Counter missiles. And these counter missiles basically protect you from creatures that actually enter the perimeter of your city. Um, let's see, do I need to... You know what, let's, uh, let's build something. Um, here you've got like a menu with all the buildings you have for a recreational part. Oh, let's build a recreational part. Commander, we're using have... quite a bit more electricity now. We could really do it. Yeah. Get used to that. Uh, let's see, I've got 25,000 of the 2800 megawatts I can use, so that's okay for now. But you know what, let's upgrade the generator. Uh, I can't build generators yet. I don't know if I get the ability to build more of those later on or not. We'll see. <coughs> but let's uh, get to the menu. Here you can uh, basically pick your missions. Um, it really, really takes any speed out of the game. Um, which is really a shame. Um, but you've got uh, your ordinary targets, and you've got your orders and requests. Now, your orders are mandatory. I don't have any of those right now. And you also have your requests. Um, do you want to accept this request? Yes, I do. Um, residents living on the outskirts of the city have requested that a nearby enemy should be taken out. Lead an attack squad to handle this ASP. Oh, I know what is this Threat eradication order battle stations everyone city switching to now you would think we're gonna leave the city but Stop no actually we use level. a lure so to speak to make the off. enemy come to us which is a bit weird when you think about it but uh yeah remember these are cities with the civilians living in them um as you can see, some uh, weapons can merge. Um, Let's keep flying through them. As you can see, 
and you basically you turn circles of the city. And the gun can only shoot forward, the missiles have a larger arc of attack, and the Gatling guns, I don't know. Looks like they have very short range, because they, I don't see them working. Um, here you can see this game is really built for, the, for a console. So it's really... For. As you can see, the, the buildings don't always merge. And there we have enemies coming to the horizon. Yes, I'm sorry, I haven't checked yet how I can move the camera, but like you can see, it isn't really mandatory. It's nice to see the enemies reaching Oh look, the Gatling guns are firing. There we go. Well, this is basically the game. Really, we haven't yet. Oh, I can also move the outer ring. These only protect against laser attacks. The enemy's right on top of us. Commander, I haven't yet I experienced uh, monsters really entering my city, so I couldn't Strong tell you if these also work against death. But this is only the beginning of the game, so... Yeah. Who knows? You will get more weapons, more abilities later on. Uh, I assume you'll also get flying units, stuff like that. City's um, not gonna make it. You just hit 75% so of the progress, guys. So yeah, you also see uh, now that the enemy is dropping crystals. We can use as resources in between combat. Um, so yeah. This mission right here. I, oh, look, that's the uh, yeah, that's the uh, laser attack I was talking about, and I used my bulwark just in time. So the game doesn't really the combat it's doesn't really have that much depth. It's, it's kind of a combination of putting your buildings in the right positions um, and also a kind of bit of reflexes. Uh, so it has that mixture of action gameplay with strategic gameplay. That's that's kind of nice. So yay. We repelled an enemy Here's invasion. The Here's the report. Here are strike yeah. Results. And but as you can see, they don't shut Good up. Well you know this. Uh, Next up is how our latest strike. So yeah, get used to that. Overall happiness oh. has increased. That's great. Thanks to you know, the outcome if, of that if, last I, strike. I, you know, it interferes too much because you first have to push the button. To make to finish the dialogue, and then you have to push the button again to go to the next dialogue. We've that managed really to takes These are the crystals a we managed lot. To procure from the I mean, um, make sure you keep a close eye on focus and energy levels too. I'm getting carp and tunnel over here Which just by pushing the button. You know, kind of jading. Um, now here you can reward um, any of your operators. Um, basically saying, well, indeed, you job, and then, like everybody knows, that makes people level up. So, um, it's kind of nice. Um, like I said, I don't recall what any of these guys do, um, really? other than laugh lock. So glad you noticed me out there. That feels really good. Yeah. That's it for the good report. For you. Oh, and Admiral Newman is on the line. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Yes, this happens every time. Good work uh, your, uh, your commander levels up. 
you'll get some uh, items that can give you bonuses like I, more firepower or better bulwarks or XP bonuses, all that good stuff. Not that I ever doubted. Uh, and of course, so as promised, monies. Never have yes, enough of those. Nearly forgot. You've earned but he always says the same. Very so impressed. yeah. I've sent over a little congratulations. It is after all what it's Just a time Back sink, really. I'll put our bonuses you into the store. Pushing my keyboards relentlessly, probably to my microphone. Um, okay, city maintenance yeah. is all done. And here we go to a dandelion's right near the city. Oh, we'll the, 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 I guess you miss the call it space. It really plays like a board game in that that way. Um, because you can build right now. Commander, uh, don't forget to check. Yeah. So here we can collect or immigrants. There's a dandelion in a holding pattern from, outside the city. Questing permission you know, to dock. You go to all clear? I have no idea where that is. Um, funny bit of trivia. One of the cities, one of the operators is from is um, Utrecht. Roger. Which apparently Dandelion's was gonna just abandoned any minute now. in this post-apocalyptic world because their supply of alternate ran up. So, it is one of those like typical anime-esque right post-apocalyptic worlds where they have all these really beautiful settlements, but there is always this sense of dread and, and sense that at any moment this city could be destroyed by by monsters or the resources will run and dry and they'll have to move again and that's that's one of the themes of the character okay. they're all, all these new residents can process always have to move around we finished processing all the new residents so it's all very colorful again, but in the background there is this big sense of dread also here we have a dandelion which is Basically, their version of an airship. It's uh, very fantastical. So yeah, for those airship lovers out of there, there you go. A passing dandelion. Thank you very much. We'll put every bit of money to good. You can make aluminite from the crystals we've collected. You know. Yes, of course. You need your typical anime busty girl, but. Uh, yeah, well, this is basically the resources I gathered. Um, you need these resources for specific buildings. However, you also need uh, Illuminite, which can be gathered by um, recycling certain crystals. Uh, like I'm doing right here. However, it's going to be only be done once. This cannot be reverted. So that's kind of those choices you'll have to make. Um, but like I said, still the beginning of the game, so I haven't okay, really oh. uh, experienced any negatives. Uh, so yeah. Well, now we can also uh, build, we can um, upgrade this uh, cannon right here. So I'm gonna level 2. I'll see that it's done. It looks a little Double pitiful compared to the other guns. Um, also, your operators can give bonuses to certain rings. I think my current gun operator grants um, more powerful weapons to the first ring. So, yeah, that's something you might want to take into account. Um, so, yeah. But let's see... Um, what uh, we have in research and the development. The city. Uh, sure. no, no orders. That's nice, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Um, well, here under status, you can, by the way, uh, look what your uh, missions are, what your goals are. Here is your item list. Um, To, ah, right, like uh, we've got like an alternate chrysalid, a chemical agent that accelerates the crystallization of alternate after an enemy is defeated, so more crystals after combat, uh, impact spreader necessary that spreads the damage inflicted on enemy to other enemies in the vicinity, so basically uh, 
all your weapons turn into shotguns. Um, protective coating, um, but basically protects your command center against anything. Um, of course, these items are all one-time uses, so yeah. I haven't really figured out what the, the focus is. Um, here you go. Oh, well, he is a little bit low on energy. Again, okay? so. Yes. Whoa. There wow, you Commander, go. Wow, Commander, what is this stuff? I feel totally awake again. Okay, I've just given what I assume is a minor drugs. Um, there you go. Well, let's uh, check on the settings, by the way. No, you can, of course, uh, adjust music, sound, voice volume, dialogues. You know what? Let's turn the dialogues off for a bit. Because... I'm really getting annoyed by this. You can also... You know what? Let's see if... If you do that, we'll actually have better voice acting. But also more dialogue, because not all the story elements are fully voiced anyway. But maybe the Japanese voices are, so... However, research and development. Let's see what we have over there. Oh, the oh well, look at that. Really? I'm actually going to have something to occupy myself with? Hmm. That doesn't sound Japanese at all. Let's see, uh, we've got a repair drone, however I need to be level 5 for that, and here I need to be level 7, so can't do anything there. Here we have fortified armor, and I need to be a, have a city level 4. Honestly, why do I even need approval from Allied Command, hmm? It stifles my creativity. Yeah, no, we all. So, yeah, that was kind of a disappointment there, but, uh... Yeah, let's just oh, on menu. Let's go and see uh, what we can kill. Here are all the enemies sighted near the city, sir. Well, let's see. Let's just uh, target those level three monsters. Shall we conduct a strike on we these enemies? That little problem. Yes. Threat eradication battle stations, everyone. City switching to battle config. Yeah, still can skip to the dialogue. Stone corn rain. CDC descending to a safe level. I wish they're trying to get you pumped for the upcoming battle. I like that. Uh, it kind of reminds me of what they did to the ship in Water World. Okay, everyone. Well, Time to do battle. Moving parts and stuff like that. Oh, I know. Oh. These are really tough. As you can see, the uh, characters also emote, which is a nice touch. No, and space. Get some uh, little thing that they are just as hyped to do this as you are. The enemy's right on top of us. Come on, come here, you're gonna be mad. Well, it's kind of to see those Gatlings get into action. But uh, it looks like they've got a really small spread. Uh, oh, look. You know I have merged with these Gatlings. Don't let your guard down. Really Halfway there, crew. Which looks like kind of a boss monster. I don't know if that's what that is, but... That's the way. Oh, he died. Great work. So yeah, it's um, it's an interesting take on the power defense genre uh, for consoles, I suppose. Um, so it's um, very similar, yes, different. Um, I also like the fact that you, you know. These upgrades you make have an effect on the game. So I often miss that in certain games. Oh, there you go. 
So, this game lasted, what, like two minutes? Tops. But just to get to the next game, that is what, what frustrates me. Uh, most of that time is, is spent on the... On the on these dialogues. Um, yeah. That's all the data right there. I'll Next up is how our You know, this, this this shouldn't have to take Overall, this long. So maybe I'll just turn the dialogue off, and maybe that will uh, dramatically increase the, crystals we man um, the uh, in between sure time of, of these uh, and energy levels too. of these levels. Which because, do you like you see, contributed the most to that last strike. It really doesn't take that long. Alright, I see now. Oh, thank you. Yay, I'm so happy. That's it for the report. But yeah, okay, um, this was uh, well Eagles of so Earth, just basically, um, for first impression. Um, if you're Wait, interested in a new awesome. take on the tower defense, genre and um, give it a try it's uh i think i bought it on steam for 14 euros on a sale most efficiently right um, that's the key to city development yeah I, I i'm not sure how long this game will take so i'm kind of skeptical on, on on the on the price but um thank you very much I, 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 I wonder how much game variety there will be when you play this over long terms. So, yeah, that's something you may want to take into account. Um, I would say buy it when it's, uh, you know, on, uh, on the Steam sale or something, or when the price has dropped to below 10 euros that would be my um that would be my advice but uh yeah it, it is an interesting game um i will be playing it more um i am kind There's of a interested in a holding where the gameplay will go Roger. to the dandelion is going to be in there is more here um, but yeah, I'll uh, just uh, end this video with a shot of this dandelion right here. So yeah, I'll uh, do more of these gameplay things in the future, all steampunk related or inspired by. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you played this game. Okay, I'll see that all these new residents get processed ASAP. Yeah. Wow, the city's level Goodbye. just increased. That's a dr 